Hello, everyone, and welcome to Nails and Beauty Talk, the Style Crypt. I am your host, Asia the Bird. Today, we are going to be reviewing Ferragamo and Lavi by CK Fashion Runway shows. Here with me reviewing is Victoria Stafford, aka the High Fashion Fan. Hello, Victoria, and welcome. I'm back in, and I'm ready yes. to get into these shows. Yes, we're going to be doing a continuation of runway show reviews um, for Black History Month. We'll be highlighting Black designers, um, you know, past and present. Um, people that are presenting for this year's fashion week. So um, we're reviewing Ferragamo. Um, Maximilian is the creative director for Ferragamo, um, just to give a heads up. So without further ado, we're going to review Ferragamo and Lavi by CK Runway shows. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Ferragamo Spring Summer 2024 show. Already, I love the set. Yeah. Already. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I just love like the blue and the white. You know, the blue kind of gives it that pop. Mm -hmm. It's like a window. Definitely. Yeah, that look is gorgeous. Yeah, definitely good opener. Mm. Very clean. Looks like it's it's fit tailored very well to her body. Love that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I just like the tailored suit. You know. Mm -hmm really good I love that yeah that's gorgeous nice to a little on the simple side very sellable very marketable love that yeah 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 very that's simple good. and practical yeah. and wearable mm -hmm. And I like what some of the men's shirts, you know, what I've noticed is that it's like a zip up, zip down shirt instead of it being like a button up. Cause usually like it'll be like button up shirts. But I like how yeah. with this collection with some of the men's top, like the guy that just walked, he had like a, you know, a zip up, zip down top. So mm -hmm. I like that. I like this green. Love mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I like the tan and the blue. Yeah. Oh, that green is so pretty. Yeah, I like the green um, silhouettes. I kind of wish that there was pops of like gold or something to kind of yeah. give it out. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. But I just like how with green, you know, when you look at the representation of green, it represents like, you know, nature or like wealth and things like that. You know, money is yeah. green. So <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> the last look I was a little confused by, I'm not going to lie. The, the gray. I was a little confused by that. So we had to rewind and get a closer look at it. With, uh, at the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, not bad. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the open toed shoes. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really a flip flops type person. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really no. yeah. to each its own I guess I like that yeah yeah me too I like the movement of that beautiful mm -hmm. I like the dude's uh, shirt the dude's sweater shirt mm -hmm. it's very nice the turtleneck shirt excuse me yeah I mean it's just simple mm -hmm. it works <laughs> yeah definitely yeah, I just like the, you know, two-tone color garments, the dresses that just pass. Yeah. I like that. And I like how what's very interesting within this collection is that not only is it simplex simplistic, but it's also given an essence of, like, you know, sexiness to a certain extent, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So I like how there's a little bit of pops of color, you know, in some of the garments. You know, like with that, like the fuchsia and the, the Ooh, red, that. that's nice. I love, I'm obsessed. That's gorgeous. Yeah. I like the browns. That's nice too. Yeah, I love that. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. It's like peanut butter and chocolate. I love it. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Peanut butter cup Reese's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a cool red look. Mm -hmm. I like how clean this is. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, it's not groundbreaking, but it's super clean and crisp. I love that. Mm-hmm. Ooh, pretty cool. I like how with this collection as well, like the thing that you really notice is really like, you know, not only like casual wear, but it's mostly like business. Like you're going to like a cocktail party, like with that dress walking down the runway, you're like you're going to a cocktail party or something, yeah, you know, or a socialite event. Um, nothing too fancy or over the top. It's like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm going somewhere, it's like a special event, but it's not like crazy special. <laughs> yeah, but everything looks well made. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I love that too. The tailoring is excellent. Mm-hmm. And the fabrics look look really well uh, well sourced as well. Mm, well sourced, yeah. Very well designed. So we see in this collection also too. There's a lot of neutral colors like the tans, the yeah. white, the um the peach color, um more so white, gray, and like tan, you know, in green. So that's pretty much the color palette as far as with um this collection so it's playing with earth tones for the most part a little pop of blue i love that yeah pops of blue i don't know if that's I gorgeous his hair <laughs> <laughs> the way they did it because i think they did that to him i don't love it but mm-hmm. that's, that dress is pretty like a caftan type Yeah, I like the little pops of color with the accessories. I think that's a nice touch. Right. Yeah, not bad. Not a bad look. Hmm. I like some of the handbag designs. That's really, really cool. I do wish like the the blue, um, some of the handbags that where they have to hold it like this. I wish they kind of had a strap. Like how yeah. the, the other models holding it with the green purse with the strap, mm-hmm. not like holding it like this. Yeah, I see. I've been seeing that a lot on the runways lately. Just those bags you gotta hold like that. I mean, I imagine if they sell in the men's stores, they actually do come with the strap. Yeah, so maybe yeah. that's just for the runway. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Because it's not really practical for everyday life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, right. Because usually they, you know, women carry the purses with the handle. Yeah, you know. Now, if you wanted like a clutch, like a small clutch, you would probably do this or something like that. Yeah. But that's a big. It's a big purse. That's a big clutch. Just. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that'd be a huge clutch. <laughs> oh, I like the texture on that one. Mm-hmm. That um, top is nice. Yeah, that dress is cute. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's lovely. Mm-hmm. Got a little bit of fringe in the slit. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like the white look. Yeah, very crisp. Mm Mm-hmm. I like that, too. I like how... It feels like spring. Yeah, right, exactly. I I like how the women are wearing, like, a a wedge, like a stylish wedge heel. Mm -hmm. That's really, really nice. I like that suit. I like the color of this this dress. That's mm-hmm. about it. I'm not a big fan of that one. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that look is cute. Yeah, that's cool. Is that? Yeah, I had to see that one up close. I like that one. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it looks like she has like the black leather, mm, you know, a black leather top. Here. Well, I mean the the white. She had the black piece around the arm. Interesting. Mm. That's an interesting touch. Yeah, I had to play it back so I could see it. <laughs> okay, like we wrapping up. I'm sure it was very quick. Yeah, it's very very quick. Yeah, it really wasn't that long.
This has to be like 50 or so looks. In one way. I think so. It felt kind of like, like maybe 30. 30? I think quick. Yeah, it's been pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Yeah. So I might be way off then. At least like, yeah, like 30 or 40 almost. Yeah, it seems like probably maybe about 30 looks. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All right, here come Maximilian. Oh, okay, so this is 64. Oh, wow. No way, that's so quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, exactly, like, you no know. No way, this 64. Yeah, yeah it didn't 64. look like 64. It looked a little less yeah. than that. That's interesting, how it was 64 looks. Maybe was, because, like, a lot of the silhouettes were kind of the same. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Yeah, probably so. I'm going to max a million. All right. For a gamo. Let's start. Mm. All right, so what we're going to do now is replay this back, and we're going to see our favorite looks from the runway. Let's do. I like the pink and red look. <laughs> pink and red. Okay, let's get to the that. Pink and red one, the monochrom monochromatic look. That was gorgeous. That's probably my favorite of the whole show. Yeah, I'm gonna try to play to get to get to it. Yeah. Yeah, this look. This is very nice. When I saw the shoes, the shoes alone gave it away for me. I was decided when I saw the shoes, I was like, oh. Mm -hmm. This is a banger, I already know. And then I saw the rest of the look. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can play it back. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like with the shoe, it has an angle. So it's not a straight downhill. You see that there's an angle. Yeah, it's it's very sophisticated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, right, absolutely. And the thing is, I watched a video where um, Maximilian was interviewed about the shoe. So basically the shoe, from my understanding, from what I've seen from the video, this is 3D printed. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. Yeah, the yeah. The shoe? Yeah, he said he played with like 3D printing as far as the shoe design. No way. Yeah. That's dope. I love that. That's innovation. Yeah, that's really, really cool. You know, that slight angle and it's not straight, straight downhill. So that's really, it's really hot. cool. It's hot. I love it. It's Yeah, beautiful. yeah. And it goes very well with the dress, and it, and it matches with the color palette, the mm -hmm. monochromatic uh, uh, color palette. You know, you got the red in the middle, you got the fuchsia, you know, so very geometric yeah. cut um, of design, playing with um, organic shapes. Yeah, it's fish. I love it. Mm -hmm. I will buy that. <laughs> Now this look, I really like the the shades of brown. So there again, it's like the monochromatic um, or the analogous color palette. Mm -hmm. um, so you have the dark brown, you got the caramel brown, then the, then the dark, very very dark 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 brown, you know, black. Um, so yeah, so I like that. You know, it's chocolate, 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 chocolate. <laughs> yeah, for me, for me, this is a fall. This is a good fall coat, even though it's yeah, yeah. a spring show, but it's a good mm -hmm. fall coat. I love it. Yeah, fall coat, fall uh, coat or fall dress, leather dress. You know, and it goes well with the handbag. The handbag is nice. Mm -hmm. I wish you could see. I wish you could really see it up close. It's really pretty. It looks like like this crocodile, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I like how it kind of go, it goes well with the um the kitten heel, the kitten loafer heel. Yeah. Those have made a comeback for sure. The Kitten Hill. <laughs> I never yeah, thought yeah. it would make its way, but. Yeah, right, right, exactly. That same way with the mules, like the mule hills, that's popular. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, so it was kind of like early 2000s, but then, you know, once it got into like 20, 2018, 2019, especially 2020, that's when really mules started getting popular. Mm hmm. Yeah, the mules with the fur. Ooh, yeah, I yeah. Didn't like that whole trend with the fur on the inside. Really? 
Because <laughs> it to me, it just seems a little unsanitary to have fur on the inside of your shoe. Oh, on the inside. I thought you were talking about the, on the outside. Inside. No, on the inside. Because I remember Gucci was doing the whole thing with the fur on the inside yeah. of the shoe. And I was just like... <laughs> yeah. Because the thing is, like, how do you wash, like, the inside of that shoe if it has fur and stuff in it? Yeah, no. Smooth like, pass. But fur on the outside, <laughs> you know, do you. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> Let me see what other looks I really like. There was a look. It was the, it was the same look as the fuchsia, but it was like black and white. This this one's coming up. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, so same thing here. You know, the black Let's and go. white. It's yeah. very gorgeous. I like, the, I way like the, the shoes. The shoes do it every time. The boots. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Phenomenal. Yeah, it's very, very cool. I love the shoes. Mm -hmm. I like this look too, actually. I like you the... see that bag. That bag is gorgeous. I love like the triple zipper. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that's... I you... love that. Mm-hmm. And when you see close up with the the top, I like how it's like a turtleneck style. I'm a big fan of turtlenecks. Mm -hmm. You know, I like this turtleneck style of shirt. You know, I think I said sweater at first, but this is <laughs> this is a, a dress shirt, a turtleneck sweatshirt, um, dress shirt. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, I just like I just like that turtleneck look. Yeah, I think I definitely think that shirt in the bag, the whole look will sell well for a lot because it's a good staple piece for men. I, I can see that selling. Mm. Yeah, the bag, when you see close up, it has like the triple zippers. Um, yeah, I like that. That's really, really cool. That's hot. Yeah. We we agree we don't like the flip flops so much, but. Yeah, we ain't a big fan of flip, the flip flop uh, <laughs> loafer shoes, the open toe loafer shoes. But I bet they're going to go for a good like 420 at least. Mm -hmm. Let me see what other look I liked. Let's actually go go over the um, cocktail dress look. Yeah, let's look at that one. Because this is a whole different silhouette mm -hmm. than the other ones. Because I think this is one of the few looks or the only look that plays with, with uh, texture. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. I don't know what this material is. This may be a 3D printed material because it's like... If you can see the texture up close, mm -hmm. I don't know what these little pellets are, but yeah, yeah, it could I be pretty this was like beaded uh, sequins, but it's not. It's like something else. Yeah, yeah, it looks three D printed, or it's like some leather type of sequins type of feel, you know. So it's not like a sparkly sequins, but mm -hmm. it is yeah, like no. a leather type sequin embroidery type of thing. So I can see yeah. some embroidery throughout the um the the cocktail dress. Yeah, that this is pretty cool because I I thought it was sequins when I first looked at it. Pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, and you know from a distance it makes you think it's sequins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it has that glisten to it. Yeah, yeah, that glisten, that shine to it on you know when it's on the light when the light hits it. Excuse mm -hmm. me. It's really good. It's a good piece. Let me see. Is there any other pieces? Yeah, let's look at <laughs> let's look at that. Um, there was like this gray bathing suit type one one. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, this was like this is early on in the collection in between the greens. Okay, the green section in between the greens. Hold on for yeah. one second. I like the suit. This is a nice suit. Yeah. I like how the sleeves are cut out, you know, to show the arms and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very classic. Can't go mm -hmm. wrong with that. Yeah, very, very, very nice. classy. So let me see if I can find the look that you're talking about. It is. Let me see. It's coming up. It's coming. Let me 
PC. That's a nice green. Okay, it's right after him. Her. This, this one? This one, yeah, this one was. This one I didn't understand so much. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's kind of interesting how, like, you look at the top, you see that there's buttons here. That it's a little, yeah, it is confusing. Yeah, um, yeah, because there's a big, big pocket on the front, and then it's like this. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this look, um, prob this is probably my least favorite look of the whole collection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's, you know, I don't think it's a bad top. I think I would rock it. But just, I think with, to make it more cohesive, I think this would, I don't think there's no need for this part. The, yeah, um, the, the flap. The you flat. don't need the yeah. flap. You don't need the three <laughs> buttons. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, you could probably keep the buttons, but you don't need the flat part. The pocket is fine. You know? Yeah, it's just a lot going on. Yeah, it's just too much going on. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot going on. Because I like the material. I like the material. I think this whole look without the pocket without the flap i think that would have been a hit so it's yeah right exactly necessary details on that but i like the bag yeah the bag like is the really bag. nice yeah. i like this all white look that's coming down the runway that's really nice yeah that's beautiful and, and i like the bag the too the bags are a hit. Yeah. And that's the thing about Ferragamo is that, like, they're mainly known for their leather. So the mm -hmm. bags really have to, the bags have to be good. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's accessory design, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, Ferragamo was definitely, you know, a, an accessory designer, shoe designer. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you look at Manolo Blahnik, some of these other people. And I like how with their shoe design is really, really cool, especially Manolo Blahnik's. Yeah. Let me see another look. Probably at least from the last section. And for a gamo, what look was, was it this one? Not that one. That's really cool. I like the white yes, with the fringe. I love that. I love the texture of the top. Mm hmm Yeah, that's gorgeous. I feel like I feel like it's it's good without the black fringe. I think yeah. it's good without that. Mm -hmm. But it's not it, it doesn't make it bad. Yeah. I think I think it looks good. This is cute. Same yeah, thing there again cute. with the fringe, the cut. That's a nice slit. It's a nice slit, yep. It's not too low, it's not too high. That's a perfect slit right there. Now the fringe here, I do like the addition of the fringe. I think that's a genius placement that I don't know. I don't know if I've seen that before. So that's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this look is really nice. Hold on, let me see if I can. I like the top with the pants. Yep, that's pretty cool. It. It's not a jumpsuit. It looks like a jumpsuit. Yeah, it kind of looks like a jumpsuit, but it's like I think it's like a two piece. It's separate. Like, oh, okay. That's the same thing with this better. in white. This is a top, and this is a the bottom is a skirt. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought that was a, a one piece. I like the skirt. It looks mm -hmm. very clean, beautiful. So, what would you rate this fashion show? Out of um, ten. Overall, out of ten, I would say I would say it's like eight out of ten. Pretty good. Um, you got a lot of um rewearable pieces here, a lot of classic timeless pieces here, high quality. Mm -hmm. I say pretty good job. Yeah, I would say maybe a seven point five. I think there's some looks that could be better. Yeah, um, I would but, like but that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some looks, you know, could be better. Um, like I said, just kind of pops of like maybe silver and some of the garments or gold would yeah. work better. I like how with this collection, you know, and it's cool that it's minimalistic, but I think also too, like 
you know, I like the sense of they're playing with textures and things like that. But I think just pops of like shiny hardware here and there yeah. on some of the garments will be good. Not yeah. just like black yeah. buttons and stuff like yeah. that. You know, maybe a mixture, I would say. Yeah. No, that's good. That's a good, uh, good takeaway. Mm. Yeah, I would like to see a little bit of a little bit of pops of gold, especially with the green. With yeah, the yeah, right. Definitely. Most definitely. Absolutely. You know, I like the the leather, you know, on top of this this dress. Yeah. It's gorgeous. You know, so there again, I like how, you know, Maximilian wanted to play with texture. And I like how with this collection, not only it has that minimalist, you know, it's not like in your face and stuff like that. This is like, you know, casual wear, work wear. You know what I mean? You're going to a, a casual event or banquet, um, things like that. So, yeah, I think this this collection, you know, you know, is is very very cool. You know, and it's a seven point five out of ten. You know, you know, there's some stuff that could be stronger, but it's a mm -hmm. good show overall. Yep, I agree. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go to the next show, and here we go. All right, guys. So the next show we're gonna be looking at is Lavi by CK. So this is from 2021. So here we go. Okay, the Royal Empire. This is gonna be gorgeous. La Vie. That's gorgeous. Yeah, I love the juxtaposition with the beating and the, uh, the corsetry. Beautiful. Yeah, the corsetry is gorgeous. Yeah, I like the play with just texture and embroidery. You see that in, in, in these pieces, you know, especially with pattern, you know. So I really like with um, Lavi by CK, her fashion line, her dresses. It's, you know, paying ode to her, to her African culture. Mm -hmm. And I believe, I think she's from Nigeria. So um, this is really- um, I think she's from Cameroon. Cameroon, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I like that she's playing with her, you know, playing with or paying homage to African culture, very, very much playing homage to African culture. Yeah, beautiful. And her roots. Yeah, and these girls look very, very beautiful. I love this dress. Gorgeous. Oh, that's beautiful. Very couture. I just love that. Yeah. I just love what these looks is so regal. Yeah, it's very regal. African royalty. Yeah, it looks lovely. Mm -hmm. They 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 seem so um, the the guys just seem so full of pride. Mm -hmm. I love how they're bound bound like you know to her as if like she's like the queen. You know, this is gorgeous. I love the blue and yellow. Yeah, the blue and yellow is nice. Ooh, and I like the crochet yeah. design. Yeah, the crochet on top is a, a nice element. Mm, the crochet on, on the neck and bust area, that's really, really nice. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And I love the makeup okay. too. Placement with the pearls on the eyes. I love that. It's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, it's gorgeous. It's very editorial. Mm -hmm. I love to play with color, like very bright, vibrant colors. You know, when you look at very, very bright, vibrant colors, it gives a sense of joy and happiness. You know, so I like with some of her pieces, she plays very well with color and pattern. So we see that in all these looks down, you know, in this video. And I love the gold. The gold represents 
you know, royalty. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where they got these male models from. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love the pink elements in the beautiful. Mm-hmm. This is so gorgeous. Very this gorgeous. Is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these ain't no um, East Saint Laurent models, <laughs> but <you know. laughs> yeah, these are all black models. <laughs> and not stick skinny. <laughs> <laughs> and I like how with the scenery of this of this show of this video, like it takes place in a big royal house. You know, mm -hmm. it's not like on a runway stage and things like that. Like I like how it's saying the scene of, you know wealth and royalty with that with the big house yeah like somebody of african you know royalty and lineage would live in that big house yeah definitely a little new home yeah, I do. I do really love the corset though. Mm hmm I love the makeup. The makeup is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. With the pearls and the pops of blue and green on, on the eyelids. Yeah, this dress is really bomb. Love mm -hmm. it. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I love it. The colors, the pattern, the opulence, the crochet. So you can see an aspect of, you know, color and pattern, but also too with um, just fiber art, you know, crocheting. That's part of fibers. So that's really, really amazing. Yeah. Very lovely. So we're going to go ahead and play it back and look at our favorite looks from this video. I like this coming coming down first and up front with the um, blonde afro. It's yeah. really lovely. I like the corsetry and I also like the embroidery and I like to play with different aspects of fabric. Definitely the embroidery on the corset shows a sense of movement. You know, you can see that on the side with the embroidery. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes, very, very well done. I'm mm -hmm. on that as well. I really, really, really do like the beading. Mm, the beading is very nice. The beading and embroidery. Mm -hmm. And the blind apples. <laughs> 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 Let me check out the, this dress is gorgeous. I love to play with complementary colors and analogous colors in this piece. So shades of blue and orange, you see yellow, um, you see blue. So a little bit of mixture of complementary and primary colors, you know, but mostly, yeah. you know, complementary and analogous. And analogous colors, for those of you who don't know, is colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. And I like the pops of like gold, like the gold jewelry, you know, the bracelets and the earrings and the necklaces and the crowns. Absolutely. Yep. That's very nice. Gives a sense of opulence. Mm -hmm. Very lovely. 
and it seems like each there's like three different parts of the collection I think. yeah 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 this is gorgeous too the blue collection mm. the blue and yellow that's really nice and you can see on the top this is crocheted it looks like crocheted yeah, um i love that detail part yeah absolutely yeah definitely me too you know, and I love like the pearls around her neck, the pearl earrings and the pearl makeup to go with it. It really brings harmony to the garment, to the dress. Same thing with this little crochet necklace. It looks like then pearls, then like a blue and yellowish green dress. It's like the yellow has like a tint of green in it. Yeah. It's probably a lime green. And I love the makeup that goes with the looks too. Yeah, the makeup is really, really, really flawless. Mm -hmm. Really, really stellar. Let me see. And I love like with this runway show, it tells a story. Mm -hmm. You know, there again, that regal um, African royalty. I like the guy's hats. <laughs> and I love the women's head pieces, the head wraps. And I also like how it's none of the black models, you know, definitely black representation in the fashion industry, especially with models is very, very important. For sure, absolutely. I like how they're standing as the guards, the two men. I like the, the sun, um, the sun crown. It, it gives Oshun vibes. Pretty crown, I like that. <laughs> yeah, so this is a really good show. I would give this a ten out of ten. What, what do you think? Um, I would say I don't know. There's something I feel like is it could be better in the way. I, maybe I want more looks in the show. I want to see more of that pearl, the the what she was doing with the pearl. So I would say I would give it a seven out of ten. Okay. Okay. Yeah, definitely I think with some of the looks, um, could be there could be more looks. Um, I think also to maybe just more pops of color, maybe. Yeah. You know, but I think this is a very good show and I like how with this show, um, aside from the previous show, this show told a story. You know, mm -hmm. so I like the storytelling and the scenery behind it. Um, so yeah, definitely. But these garments are very well constructed, very well, very, very well. elegant, very regal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because the blind pro piece is a showstopper. You know, it combines it combines um, some of the traditional uh, West African style of dress with like a little bit of. Uh, I guess like some of the modern styles of dress, like the corset and then the, the transparent beading at the bottom. I love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think also too would be would be also cool to add is there again like the pops of like gold on the garments. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or like some more unique embroidery. I think that would really push some of the looks further as yeah. well. Right so that that's um that's my take on that. All right. So final thoughts. What do you think? Well, I definitely think these are two very, very talented designers. Maximilian is, I think he's been doing a good job so far. Um, yeah. I think maybe we could, we could see a little more hardware, play with hardware and things like that from the, in the future, like you were bringing up. Um, but overall, mm -hmm. I think, I think he's a good addition to the brand. Um, I just hope that he continues to work on his own brand as well, because we see that happen with a lot of, um, yeah 
particularly black creative directors, they kind of stop working on their own yeah, thing. Yeah, agreed. Um, but yeah, I think so far that's, um, I like the collection. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think with both collections, you know, and they're both really good and they're both to- two totally different collections. Yeah. That's what I like about that. You know, and the thing that, you know, what's very important as far as the black designers is really have a combination of, you know, showing not only black designers from the diaspora, but also in black America. So, you know, I think that's very important for Black History Month with this month is that we highlight these other black designers who have a different style or different way of doing fashion. So definitely I do like um, Maximilian's collection. Um, I do like some of the looks as far as just like that business you know, um, stylish that that uh, sexiness within some of the looks as well. Um, he did a very good job with the pops of color in some of the looks, and of course, like both with his with his co- collection and Lavi by CK Claudia Kamene's um, collection, that there could be a sense of an improvement with hardware and with pops of hardware, like you know whether it's or like some like playing with like saltwater pearls or like playing with metals just like gold and silver. You know, I think with both collections with Ferragamo and with Lobby by CK, I think both of them would, would be would be very good as far as gold on the garments. Yeah, you know, I agree. and I like how they have the gold accessories. But I think you know, if you have gold on the garments, pops of that, it gives that more opulence and, and pushes each piece further. Yeah, absolutely, for sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, absolutely. So I want to go ahead and really thank you again for jumping on. Um, And until next time, I can't wait to do more um, runway show reviews for Black History Month. So we're going to keep the train going. (laughs) We're going to keep it going and I can't wait to come back. Yes, absolutely. Take care. Hello, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to click the bells for notifications. Also follow me on social media platforms and be on the lookout for more interviews involving fashion, style, and fashion history. Take care and stay stylish. Bye-bye.